Oh, I don't even know how to start this. <laughs> Hi, my friends. It's Ro. Welcome back. First of all, the air conditioning is not fixed and I'm sweltering. And second of all, this was not supposed to be today's video. I had a completely different video planned. Adam was supposed to call in and we were supposed to open this enormous box that he sent home with gifts for me, for his family, for some friends that he made in the wood shop. So unfortunately, came to the realization that he will not be home for my birthday, which is Tuesday the 28th and we were going to do the second best thing I was going to open them online however we canceled that call because we were both kind of overwhelmed with some news that we got this morning and I actually was not going to share it but then I decided to share it because his attorney shared it so it's kind of picking up traction. His attorney is very well known with very, very big social media following. And I wasn't gonna not share it because I didn't want you guys to know. I was itching to tell you guys, but I was not sharing it originally because it's not definitive and it can kind of be confusing. So, oh my God. Okay, I don't even know where to start. I don't know how to make this. I'm so hesitant and scared because I've done this video before. Not this close but I've done this video before I'm like Adam's coming home and I cried and legal stuff happened and then you guys watched me get excited and you watched the rug being pulled out from under us so I'm protecting my heart I guess I'm in shock a little bit I guess should I just get to the point I guess so if you're interested in hearing this enormous legal update about Adam is he coming home how close how soon please keep watching there's a teaser and a half If you are new here, my name is Ro. I am the founder of an organization called, called what? Oh my God, it's not my day. It's my day. It's a good day. Oh my God. If you're new here, my name is Ro. I'm the founder of an organization called Strong Prison Lives and Families, the author of a book called The Comeback Code. We don't glorify or glamorize prison or prison wife life, but I will teach you how to make the best out of this very often really painful, but hopefully one shot deal. <laughs> the moment you've all been waiting for. Okay, this morning, I had my headphones in, I had YouTube playing, I was just listening to my usual videos that I listen to in the morning, I'm working online, and I get a call from Adam's attorney. So I was like, oh my God, is it happening? Is this happening? What's happening? So I answered it, and this is what I hear. Ro, I was like, hey, Sean, how are you? And he said, Adam's judge, and I was like, I, I didn't hear what he said because my headphones were glitching. And I'm like, I'm sorry, what did they say? And he said, Ro, they granted Adam's motion, meaning his compassionate release motion that he has in Philadelphia in the courts. And so I was like, uh, oh my God, oh my God. I'm like, I'm gonna get emotional. Like, what did they say? And he said, well, they had the most amazing things to say about Adam and the way he's rehabilitated and a lot of really good stuff. And also we have to wait for him to go to court for resentencing. So I was like, oh, okay, got it. He said, but they're not taking cases right now because of COVID. So it's just, we have to wait for them to get him on the docket, blah, blah, blah. So I'm thinking, okay, probably, I don't know, the fall, maybe early next year because COVID. <laughs> We're supposed to have a round two. We're still in the middle of round one. I'm assuming that's the fall. We have to wait for a vaccination, this, that, the other. So I said, well, this is still really good news. Like, do you want to be the one to tell his mom? Do you want me to tell his mom? And he said, whatever you want, I'm happy to call her. If you want to be the one to tell her to hear her reaction, that's fine too. I was like, I, I, and he's like, why don't we call her on three way? So that's what we did. She was over the moon excited. We thanked him profusely. I set down my phone and I went back to work. No, actually, I emailed Adam. I said, call Sean right now. You're not coming home today. But he got a reaction, a response from the judge. Call him so he could tell you. That was it. I ignored it. I went back to work. Like, nothing happened. So around 3 o'clock, I get a call from Adam. He said, what is going on? And I was like, oh, did you call the attorney? And he said, no, I can't get a hold of him. What is happening? So I explained it to him the best way that I could. And he was like, oh. And he sounded like somebody kicked his dog. And I was like, I understand because again, he can't fathom that I'm, he's still there. But I was like, this is a really good thing. This is a really, really good thing. He was doing what I was doing where halfway we're in shock <laughs> and halfway we're scarred from years past where basically had the car packed, bags packed, he was on his way out and it never happened. So again, I went 
back along my merry way, I told a couple of people, they were like, why are you just being so normal? Like, why aren't you freaking out doing backflips, whatever? Because it's not real yet. So I then about five, six o'clock, I was sent this tweet by Adam's attorney. Well, if you tweet about it, it's official, right? So then it started to get real. In that moment, it started to get real. And my friend said to me, this tweet is starting to go viral. He's a very large following on social media. You probably want to address this. So then Adam called me back maybe 30 minutes later and he was like, Ro, it's happening. Like it's real. He's like, what are you feeling right now? I said, nervous. I don't want to get attached because we've been here before. He said, we haven't been here before. We've never been here before. He said, you have to understand. They granted this. That means I do not have a 213 year sentence anymore. I'm getting resentenced. And I think in that moment, I was like, are you sure? Like, this is not a drill? He was like, no, this is real. And so I said, did you ever see the movie Bridesmaids? He's like, yeah. I'm like, remember when she runs out in the wedding dress in the middle of the street and is like, it's happening. He started laughing. I'm like, so it's happening? He's like, it's happening. And then he's like, do me a favor and call my co-defendant. When we get off the phone, I'm going to call my parents. So I called his co-defendant and he was like, girl, I haven't spoken to you in ages. And I said, are you ready for some good news on a Friday night? He said, I'm always ready for good news. And I said, they granted Adam's motion and he started screaming. They're best friends, best friends. And he's been out of jail because he was acquitted on some of the crimes. So he's been out of jail for over 10 years at this point. And they're still the best of friends. And he was screaming and he was so excited and he was going back and forth like, this is real, this is really happening. I'm so happy, I'm so excited for you. I'm so excited for him. Tell me what his sizes are. We have to get him some clothes, which is really funny because I've asked him a hundred times what his sizes are and he won't tell me because he's like, I wanna be able to pick them out myself. And I said to his co-defendant, I was like, right, he's going to be walking around in sweatpants. He's like, yeah, he's not walking around in gray sweatpants, New Balance sneakers, not happening. I will get it for you. So that's where we're at. I don't know how long this will take. I don't know what the future holds. I don't know what they'll resentence him to. I don't have any answers, but I didn't want to leave you guys hanging because first of all, you know, I share everything with you when I can share it with you. And second of all, I didn't want you guys to see it elsewhere and then be like, girl, what are you hiding from us? I'm not hiding anything. That's what I know. That's as much as I know. I don't know anything else. I don't know if it's going to be an uphill battle once we get into court. I don't know if they're going to grant it, you know, because of all of Adam's rehabilitation and everything he's done on the inside and everything like that. But it is nothing but good news. It is excellent news. It's hard to digest, I guess. Like I keep going through these waves and Adam said he's going through the same waves of emotion where it's like one minute you're excited and you're over the moon and you want to call everybody you know, which by the way, he is sending me a first round of list of people. Like I feel like, <laughs> you know, when people first get engaged. I don't know if it's like an Italian thing or just a thing. I think I'm saying an Italian thing because we have like hundreds of family members and cousins and you can't forget anybody or everybody gets offended that you didn't let them know and now you have something against them and you put a curse on their family. It's just, we're crazy. But I feel like when somebody gets engaged and then you have to literally go down through the phone book <laughs> and tell everybody the news. And I said to him, I said, I will gladly do this. I said, but do we need to do this now? Is this premature? Do we need to wait until we have more news? He said, no, you just, we just need to be careful how we say it and say like, yes, it was granted. Yes, we're going back to court. No, we don't know what's going to happen next. So huge step. It's the hardest hurdle to overcome. We jumped over it. Now it's fingers crossed. Prayer said, so much gratitude and we're waiting for the next step. I'm sure you guys have a million questions and I will be happy to answer you with what I know. I'm not a lawyer. I don't have a legal background. I know as much as Adam's explained to me and the attorney's explained to me. So I will be happy to do a Q&A if you guys want to drop the questions below. I would actually love to do that because maybe I'm being really confusing and explaining things to you. So Adam's coming home. That's not even real. That doesn't even feel real that I just said that. It's not real. I will believe it when I see it. Isn't that scary that that's how scarred I am by the system? But like one minute I could be like, Adam's coming home. And the next minute I'm like, show me the money. <laughs> show me the proof. Where's that ink? Is it stamp signed, approved, I's dotted, T's crossed, sign on the line? You know what I mean? Notarized, etc. Yeah, we're heading in the right direction. So I'm ho hoping those lights behind me aren't obnoxious or annoying. I don't know how to make them not blink. So I hope I'm not giving anybody a seizure 
sorry, but I was in here because I had this huge box and it was probably the easiest place to place it for me to open things up. I made him promise we're gonna do that video in the future, but understandably he's mind going a mile a minute. Imagine being locked up for 20 years, not knowing if you will ever see the light of day and then getting this news and then being like, but why am I still here? But this is the best day of my life, but why am I still here, you know? Okay, I'm gonna leave you guys with that. Drop your questions comments, concerns, whatever you want in the comments below. Subscribe because it's about to get real, you guys, and I wanna take you along for the ride. It does not stop when he comes home. That's when this channel is just getting started. I love you guys. If this is the first video that you're stumbling on, if you're interested in Adam's background, why he's in prison, why he had a life sentence for crimes where nobody got hurt, click that video there. And if you're not already subscribed, I'm serious. If you like this video, if you wanna follow along, you gotta click that circle there or the red box below so you do not miss a video in the future. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one.